In this video, we learn the, K, the lazy learners or K nearest neighbor classifier. Nearest neighbor classifiers are based on learning by analogy, that is, by comparing a given test tuple with training tuples that are similar to it. The training tuples are described by n attributes. Each tuple represents a point in an n dimensional space. When given an unknown tuple, a k nearest neighbor classifier searches the pattern space for the k training tuples that are closest to the unknown tuple. These k training tuples are the k nearest neighbors of the unknown tuple. The nearest neighbors are calculated by the by finding the closeness. Closeness is defined in terms of distance metric such as Euclidean distance, Manhattan distance or Manhattan distance. The Euclidean distance between two points or tuples say x1 and x2 which is represented as x11, x12 up to x1, x21, x22 and up to x2n respectively. The distance is uh, the Euclidean distance is given as square root of summation i is equal to 1 to n x1 i minus x2 i the whole square. The Manhattan distance between the two tuples x1 and x2 is given as x1 i minus x2 i. At a summation of i is equal to 1 to n, the absolute difference between x1 i minus x2 i. We normalize the attributes uh, to, uh, to reduce the complexity of finding the k nearest neighbors. That is, the to prevent this is to prevent the attributes with initially large range from outweighing attributes with initially small ranges. That is, consider the uh, attribute income. The income ranges from thousands to lakhs. Here, to reduce the size of the range, we can use the normalization techniques available. There are several normalization techniques in data mining. Here we consider the min-max normalization that is we are transforming the value v of a numeric attribute a to v dash in the range 0 to 1. By computing the equation v dash the new value in range 0 to 1 is equal to v minus min, min a divided by max a minus min a where min a and the max a are the original range of the attribute a. For k nearest neighbor classify, uh, classification, the unknown test tuple is assigned the most common class among its k nearest neighbors. That is, when we evaluate the closeness between the uh, test tuple with respect to the training tuples, we have to consider those training samples or, or the classes of those training samples, k nearest training samples, else which is having the largest in number. When k is equal to 1, the unknown tuple is assigned the class of the training tuple that is closest to it in pattern space. Nearest neighbor classifiers can also be used for numeric prediction, that is to return a real value, pr value prediction for a given unknown tuple. So, here this nearest neighbor classifier or the algorithm is used for both classification and also for numeric prediction. Now let's look how we make uh, we will make numeric prediction in k nearest neighbor. In this case, the classifier returned the average value of the real valued labels associated with the k nearest neighbors of the unknown tuple. But how can distance be computed for attributes that are not numeric? That is, we have different forms of attribute values. That is, cat can be numeric, nominal, etc. Consider the case of a nominal uh, value. 
or categorical value. For example, when we consider the hair color, the hair color uh, attribute values can be black, white, gray, etc. So, in such cases, how will we find the distance between the two? For nominal attributes, a simple method is to compare the corresponding value of the attribute in tuple x1 with that in tuple x2. If the two are identical, example tuple x1 and x2 both have the color blue, then the difference between the two is taken as zero. If the two are different, the attribute values of uh, add values that is for tuple x1 is different with respect to tuple x2. Say x1 is blue but tuple x2 is red, then the difference considered is to be 1. There exist several different methods. Now consider a problem. Here the problem states that the restaurant A sells burger with optional flavors pepper, ginger, chili. Every day this week you have tried a burger A to E and kept a record of which you liked. Using humming distance show how the 3 nn classifier with majority voting would classify. Here the training tuples are called A, B, C, D, E in the table given in the question and the attributes are pepper, ginger, chili. The three attributes states the value either true or false. So, according to the question, you are asked to find the distance using Hamming, Hamming method. According to Hamming method, if both the attribute values in two tuples or in two training samples are the same, then the distance is equal to zero. If both of the attribute values are different, the distance is equal to one. Please keep this in mind. The test tuple QN is, is given as paper, pepper is equal to false, ginger is equal to true, chili is equal to tree, true. And the training tuples are mentioned as A, B, C, D, E. This is what given in the question. Now we have to evaluate this the distance between the test tuple and the training tuple A to E. That is distance between A to the test tuple QN is equal to, here you can see that the training tuple for the attribute value of training tuple A for pepper is true here and in the uh, test tuple the attribute value of pepper is false here. Both of the attribute values are different. Hence, the Hamming distance between two is taken as one. Here you can see that. Now consider the attribute ginger. Here both the attribute values of the training sample and the test sample is true and hence the distance is zero. For the case of chili, again the attribute values of, the, of both are true. So when we sum up the distance, the total distance is equal to one. Here. Now we have to evaluate the distance between in the training tuple B and the test tuple QN. Again, when we consider the attribute paper for the training tuple, the attribute value is true and the test tuple it is false. Again, for ginger, for the, tra the training tuple uh, B is false and the test tuple it is true. It is different and hence the value 1. Again, for chili, both the attributes value are different. Hence, the distance between the two is 1. So, here it is 1 plus 1 plus 1. You can see that the attribute values of the test tuple as well as the training tuple B is entirely different. So, hence we can say that 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. The same procedure is repeated for with respect to C and the test tuple and the training sample D and the test tuple etc. So the question is to find three nearest neighbors. So among the given, among the uh, uh, distance bit between the training tuple and the test tuple you can see that the attribute, the distance between A and the test sample is equal to 1. 
and Bn the test sample it is 3 and Cn the test sample it is 0, Dn test sample it is 1 and E and Qn it is 3. So the nearest neighbors majority what in here you can see that the nearest neighbors are tuple C, A and D. C, A and D. Here you can see that C belongs to false class, D belongs to true class and A belongs to false. So among the three nearest neighbors, among the three nearest neighbor, the majority of class uh, labels are is false. Hence, the test tuple is concluded as uh, class false. Now consider the second example. In this example, the attribute values are some uh, numeric values. We have consider. We have read data from the questionnaire survey to ask people opinion on objective testing with two attributes, acid durability and strength, to classify whether a special paper tissue is good or not. Here is four training samples. So in this question, you are given four training samples of which the first attribute is acid durability in second and the second attribute is the strength and it is represented as X1 and X2 respectively. The class labels here are bad and good. So the first two tuples belong to bad class and the third and fourth belong to good, good category. So please rem uh, remember this order. Now the test uh, tuple is given as x1 is equal to 3 and x2 is equal to 7. So now you we can see how we will find the nearest neighbors. The first step is determine parameter k is equal to number of nearest neighbors. Here we can assume it as k equal to 3. If it is k given in question to take k is equal to 3, definitely you have to assign k is equal to 3. Or if it is not given in the question, you can assume some value. Calculate the distance between the query instance and all the training samples. This is the step 2 procedure. So, for the test sample x1 is equal to 3 and x2 is equal to 7, we have to find the distance. That is, the distance is measured as 7 minus 3 the whole square plus 7 minus 7 the whole square is equal to 16. And the distance between the test tuple and the second training tuple is measured as 7 minus 3 the whole square plus 4 minus 7 the whole square is equal to 25. Test distance between the test tuple and the third training set is given as 3 minus 3 the whole square plus 4 minus 7 the whole square is equal to 9. Similarly, the distance between the first the, te the test tuple and the last training tuple is given as 1 minus 3 the whole square plus 4 minus 7 the whole square that is equal to 3 sorry 13. Now, the third step is sort the distance and determine the nearest neighbors based on the kth minimum distance. So, we are going to rank these training tuples with respect to the test tuples. The training tuple 3 is the first nearest neighbor to the test tuple and the fourth training tuple uh, is uh, it takes up the position 2 with respect to the test sample and the first training sample is at the position 3 or rank 3 and the fourth training sample test the, the rank is 4. So the first three nearest neighbors are training instance 3 then 4 then 1. According to the question given the first two uh, training samples belong to bad class and the last two belong to good class. So, when we compare the majority of the classes here, it is both of these, the last two tuple training tuples belong to good and the first one belongs to bad. So, majority class here it is good and hence we map the test tuple to class good category. Thank you.